This, wait, captioning. This is an official live stream of the CNCF and as such is subject to the CNCF code of conduct. Please do not add anything to the chat or questions that would be in violation of that code of conduct. Basically, be respectful of all your fellow participants and presenters. And with that out of the way, welcome to CNC Face Off, the game where our waffles are the shape of Chicago and we serve St. Louis style cut bagels in the green room. It is great. It is with great privilege and honor. I want to introduce our host live from Chicago, uh, from, uh, from DevOps Days Houston, the ever luscious Maddie Stratton. Welcome to the semi-final round of CNC Faceoff. The winner of this round will move on to face the SRE Street Band in our very final episode, which will be taking place the week before KubeCon, date to be announced exactly because it depends on who wins. And they will be the recipients of the coveted CNC Faceoff Cup. And we'll be making a big deal about that at KubeCon, uh, both virtually and in person, uh, whichever way you are choosing to participate in your uh, KubeCon this year. So let's get started by, uh, before we get into the game, we're going to meet our players and then we'll talk a little bit about how the game works. So first is the champion of uh, episode one of CNC Faceoff, the Rogues Galleries. And our first player there is uh, Kat. Kat, welcome back to this prestigious honor of being uh, here at the semis. Prestigious. Yes, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Kat Cosgrove. Uh, I am a staff developer advocate at Pulumi. And last time we kind of cleaned house, even though Rich doesn't know what animals are, I guess, and we're all never going to forgive him for that, but um, we'll try That's to move here. on as a team. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, the uh, next player on the rogues gallery um, was Mr. Tim Banks. So Tim, you know, kind of going into semis, uh, you got probably a lot going on in the mental game here. What's uh, what's your what's your plan uh, for victory today? Uh, my my main goal for victory is to talk so much smack about Chicago that Matt slips up and gives us the answers. I was going to say, maybe you spend so much time talking shit about Chicago that we don't actually end up playing the game at all. You know, that might, that might, might work uh, possibly. I mean, uh, but it, yeah, it, that's a, probably a good plan too, but good, you know, yeah. we, we want to at least have a chance to soundly beat the uh, Tinkerbell team because, Tinker you know, because as I understand, you have to, you have to paddle Tinkerbell to make it work. Right. Oh, my God. So I've heard. So I've heard. And then uh, speaking of uh, the bottom, uh, the anchor of the rogues gallery is uh, <laughs> is Rich. So, Rich, uh, Rich, you kind of, uh, you know, are coming into this, in, uh, in, you know, a little bit of the, the uh, underrated, you know. What 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 are you thinking? You know, you got got some bad press after your last appearance. Uh, is that is that going to mess with your head today? Do you think? Not at all. I've been uh, watching a lot of '90s professional wrestling lately, and you know, getting inspired um, to to break some people in half. Fantastic! We're going to break it off. All right. So, uh, facing off against the Rose Gallery, we have our other. Uh, uh, contestants in the semis and uh, the Tinkerbells. Uh, so kicking things off with us there is David. So David, um, I understand that uh, CNC Faceoff is done a little bit differently in Europe than it is in America. Is that going to throw you here in uh, in the semis? Well, you mean the semis, right? <laughs> I don't know. Are you going to get relegated? Is that a thing? That nice. Happens? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's not the same eyes, it's the same eyes. But I know we'll leave that little full pass side for now. Maybe that's a Chicago thing. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's a pleasure to be here, and I'm excited to, to win this one as easily as we won the last one. Right, team? Uh, I don't know. Uh, next next player here uh, coming in from Team Tim Tinkerbell is uh, Jeremy. So, Jeremy, uh, you know, I think you, you gave gave quite a performance in uh, the earlier earlier appearance. And can, can your fans expect uh, more of the same? Absolutely. Uh, today we choose violence, also, and a, a, a tiny amount of love to our uh, uh, to our friend Marty, who's uh, who's not able to be with us today. It said yes. Uh, so Marty uh, or 
you know, Maddie or however, Martin, whatever we're, <laughs> we're both confusing ourselves, uh, Marty Markey. So yeah, unfortunately, so Markey uh, was the third member of team Tinkerbell and is unable to uh, participate today, but uh, filling in is, um, <clears throat> sorry, is Mark. So Mark, as opposed to Marky. So that's good. That's a good swap. Do you think it's a, uh, do you think filling those shoes is going to be just as easy as just dropping a Y off the name? This is the first time I've ever played this game, but I'm feeling incredibly confident. I, I think, I think listening to some of the green room talk just before we went live, uh, we got this one in the bag. Fantastic. So if you are joining us, uh, thank you for doing so. If you aren't, then I hate you. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the game. So, uh, Paul, if you're if we're if we're getting ready to, are we ready for our first face off, uh, Mr. Sarkowski? We are absolutely ready to go. Okay, so facing off first will be Cat uh, facing off against David. So if uh, you can get your hands on your virtual buzzers, uh, either the top or the bottom of the buzzer, that's your call. I'm not here to judge. We'll go ahead and see what our first question is. So we have asked. Uh, hundreds of software engineers. Uh, if you didn't work in tech, what would your profession be? What do you think is the top answer? Buzzing in first was Kat. So Kat, what's your, what's your guess? Uh, llama farmer. Show me llama farmer. Survey says. <laughs> Damn. Mm. No, oh, that's right. Okay, so David untrue. has David has the ability to steal. So uh, David, if you can uh, guess an answer, uh, actually, no, this isn't a steal, right? They just get to play. Um, all right, David, we'll start yeah, with I'm, you then. Uh, I'm kind of torn you know, between exotic dancer or lawyer. Uh, okay, I think I'll go for lawyer. All right, uh, survey says, show me lawyer. Oh, first strike for cool. Team Tinkerbell. All right, uh, Jeremy. That's surprising asked... because I, I know a lot of people who do open source license lawyering for free on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Well, they yeah. So it's not really that lucrative because people are willing to do it for free, whether you want them to or not. Uh, yeah, you're not a sheriff if you give it away for free. That's true. That's true. You're just a hobbyist. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, uh, what are you thinking here? Um, we asked uh, hundreds of software, uh, cloud native software engineers if they didn't work in tech, what would their profession be? Hmm. Top six answers uh, on the board. Woodworker, dead Geppetto life. Show me a woodworker or carpenter. Survey says. Damn, really? No, carpenter. Okay, so we've got one. Good move there. All right, Mark. Again, we've we've asked uh, hundreds of cloud native engineers if they didn't work in tech, what would their profession be? You still you got two strikes left and five more possible answers on the board. Wait, it was Yak or it was shaver. Yak shaver? Did I hear that right? Yeah. Show me yak shaver. Somebody mm. says no. Whew, it's going to be tough here to pull pull these off here, but. Uh, all right, David, it's back to you. There's four points at stake right now. If you get this wrong, then uh, the rogues gallery has a chance to steal. You've got five answers and one strike. Uh, if you didn't work in tech, what might your profession be? What do you think were the top five answers? Just uh, any of them, for that matter, to be fair. <laughs> uh, an architect. Show me architect. No. All right. So rogues gallery, you have the chance to steal. You confer among yourselves. You come up with one answer. If that answer is on the board, you will steal those points. Plus the four big points that are on the board. All right. Matt, what, are you, think, what are you thinking? I, I think Tinkerbell still actually has one more shot because the first one was actually for the first question because I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh, no, so they, they got three wrong answers. Strikes. They actually got did three wrong three, answers. No, they got three wrong answers. They did. The first okay. strike that's on the left was for was for cat. Oh yes, okay. I'm There's four. Yeah, no, that we're good. We're good. We, we had a break. I forgot how this works. See, it's see, been a while. See how, see how they do, right? Can we start okay, again? So I think that the answer should be that I would not work. Like I would prefer to just not do labor. 
So I you was going to say musician, that but that's about valid? the same thing. I, I know a lot of uh, engineers who are musicians. That was actually what I was going to suggest to you. Yeah. But it's basically not like working. So, I mean, mm. Mm. what was the last time you, time you heard of, a, of an employed musician? As a musician? Yeah. I mean, session, session, session folks, session, you know, your session players, they work. Yeah. Yeah. But they're all gig, gig workers. They're like, yeah. Uber drivers of music. The countdown timer. So are we going musician or are we going? Yeah. I was going to say, we're going to, we're going to need an answer here. Uh, rogues. I, I, I like musician, but uh, I'll leave it up to you. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I could, I could take musician, like technically not working isn't a profession. Although I think that the majority of my friends would answer to this question, but I would not labor, okay. but uh, I think we can, we can go musician. All if right. uh, Rich is chill. Sure. All right. Show me musician. Oh, we already did. Uh -huh. there you go. It was the number two answer on the board. So uh, that means it'll be 16 points to the rogues, but let's see what the uh, remaining answers on the board were. Paul, show me. Uh, I'd be an idle rich or a person of leisure was one of the choices. Person the of answers. leisure? That sounds that's some incredibly powerful, wait, like rich white person. Wait, wait, wait. Person of leisure, not like unemployed, leisure. not deadbeat, not welfare. Person of leisure. But person well, that's, of I know, leisure. There's a difference. It's because it's like the idle rich, right? The idea is that's you, you that's know. how I know yeah. you ain't interview no black people. <laughs> mm. Oh my oh. God, Tim! Also, idle rich is a very specific answer for rich here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm what else do we have? What's the next answer on the board? A bartender, bartender. or server okay. of some kind. Mm, yeah. Okay, so a scientist, you know what? teacher is number one teacher. And number one is teacher. Mm. Yes, of course, it is. of course it is. Now, as wait, a reminder, wait, what accounts, Jeremy? If people are not sure, just remember. Some of these are concatenated answers, like put together, and and when we look for patterns. So if that does, was someone uh, going to pick, be picky about bartender slash server, does, it was. Does concatenated yeah. mean made up? Probably. Or, or yeah. pulled out of your back. This is very. This is done very scientifically. Let's move on to the next round. So in this, <laughs> don't this question is it. Just be, accept uh, it. Let's move on. Yes, we pulled exactly. tens of software developers to get these answers. We did. We really tens. did. So we've got for our next uh, face off is uh jeremy versus tim hands on your buzzers jeremy uh, versus see. tim okay hold on let me get, let me get the buzzer. all right we're good okay are, are you all ready okay yep. let's see our our my, first question my what still CNC says locked, should it it should say locked it won't i won't unlock it till i'm done reading the question out loud so which cncf project not kubernetes has your favorite logo okay tim is our first buzzer tim What's your, uh, what, what do you think is the most popular answer? Wait, do I, do I want the logo? Or do I want the project? It's the project. Which project? Oh, uh, the most popular CCF project would be... With the, um, which, the most logo. popular logo. That we had, the question was, which project has your favorite logo? What do you oh. think was the most popular answer? Oh, God. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, let's go here with... Um, God damn it. Uh... Let's go with Argo. Show me Argo. Hell Argo yeah. was the number one answer on the board. So that means uh, the rogues will play. And we go to you next, Rich. Now you had, it was a similar question to this that got you into so much hot water with Cat last time. So I want you to Rich, think carefully. You do have three strikes. Swear to God, Rich. <laughs> Rich. Rich. This is a hard one. You have, um, you have, you have um, three strikes to get four answers. You're in really good shape right now. It, it would take I'm a lot of work terrifying. to screw this up. It I'm, would be... um, I'm not sure I know any CNCF projects. <laughs> yeah, that's oh my fair. God. Um, that's fair. Yeah. Besides Kubernetes. Um, Blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Flux. Are you just making sounds? No, that's no. a project. That's a project. What was it? Mm -hmm. uh, flux. Oh, flux. I thought you said futz. Show me flux. Oh, uh, we already saw that was a okay. All right. So there's one strike. We go to cat. Cat, you got two strikes, but you got four answers on the board for the favorite non-Kubernetes logo in the favorite, CNCF project. Favorite non-Kubernetes logo. Um, I'm going to go. Jaeger. 
Show yes, me Jaeger. Survey says number three answer. Excellent. Okay, we're moving on along. Tim, got three more answers on the board, two strikes to go. Just know that if you get a strike here, it's going to come all right down to Rich again, and that's just not going to go well for anybody, I don't think, especially Rich. So not to put too much pressure on you. Let's go with cross-plane. Show me cross-plane. Survey says no. Ooh, all right. Come on, man. It's a, it's a goddamn trans-pride ice cream bar. I mean, a uh, uh, pan-pride ice cream bar. Yeah. All right, Rich. You got three choices, one strike for uh, non-Kubernetes CNCF project favorite logo. I'm going to say Envoy. Show me Envoy. Mm. Survey says no. Oh, uh, my God. So this gives Tinkerbell the chance to steal. So Tinkerbell, if you're able to uh, collectively come <sighs> together. So Jeremy, talk to your team. Uh, if you can grab one of those three remaining answers, those 13 points will be yours. So I think the correct answer is telepresence, but I think it's such a niche project that we should play it safe and go with either Opa or Falco. What do you think? My, I, my three were Prometheus, Fluent D, and Opa. Uh, so I was also on Prometheus. I like the fire. There's also Dragonfly. I don't actually know what it does, but it looks like a sort of umbrella, I seem to remember. Perhaps upside down umbrella. All right. Well, you both said Prometheus. Will we go with Prometheus? Jeremy, give us an yeah. answer. Which, Prometheus, please. Chance? All right. Show me Prometheus. Survey mm. says no. <laughs> the points will go to the rogues gallery, but let's see what the three answers are remaining on the board. I'll go ahead and flip them. Okay, ah. we got open pol OPA, open policy agent was number two. Next, we have. Oh, it has got to be on there, right? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> any of the That's that okay. actually should be number yeah. one. I can't you know believe I respect and that. No thoughts, final, head empty. Final answer, final answer was Harbor. Harbor? Harbor? So really? Takes, Fluent D's not uh, on there? Oh, Fluent Paul, D's logo Paul, is incredible. Paul, 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 shit, shit. We have a problem. Do we? You didn't get. Oh, did you give? Oh, did you give the points to them already? Yeah, we got yeah. the points already. You gave the points before you revealed yeah. more answers. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. Paul, you are, as always, completely on top of things. All right. Uh, I think we're going to be able to get four rounds in here. So let's go into our third round. Uh, this will be Rich facing off versus Mark. I'm going to go ahead and reset our buzzers already. Uh, contestants, hands on your buzzers. Paul, let's see our next question. Next survey question was, name something appealing about working from home. Rich buzzes in first. Rich, name and answer. Not, on not having to wear pants. Show me I don't have to wear pants. Survey says that is the number three answer on the board, um, which means uh, I believe uh, Mark gets a chance to guess for the number one answer. If Mark gets the number one answer, then, uh, then they'll play. Mark, what, uh, what's your guess? Uh, if no pants is number three, then maybe people were being a bit more serious about these questions. So I'm going to go for no commute. Show me there is no commute. All right, Tinkerbell oh, will play. Okay. okay, so this goes to you now, David. There's three answers left. No strikes. Name something appealing about working from home. All right, let's go for cuddles with the pets. Show me I can cuddle with my pets. There we go. Dogs, cats, or other pets. All right, Jeremy, two answers and no strikes. You're sitting pretty. Name something appealing about working from home. I am sitting pretty. I enjoy using my own restroom. Show me my own restroom. Show me I've got my own crap. <laughs> no. All right, Mark, two more answers and two strikes. Can you name something appealing? We asked hundreds of CNCF uh, cloud native engineers, name something appealing about working from home. Uh, okay, let me think this through. Um, I was thinking proximity to fridge, but I'm going to go with proximity to bed. Show me it's close to my bed. Survey says? Naps. Ease of naps. Okay, David, you can bring it all home here if you're able to guess uh, the number four answer on the board of something appealing about working from home. All right, uh, let's go for... 
breakfast beer. Show me I can have a beer with my breakfast. No. Damn. All right, Jeremy. See if you can get this last one, and all these points <laughs> can be yours. Okay. Well, if dogs, cats, pets is on there, uh, our, uh, our competitors and friends here saw them in the green room earlier. Um, proximity to your kids, family. Show me kids or family are around. Mm. Everybody says no. All right. Damn. Rogues, you have the chance to steal. Mm. So this is, uh, so, you got to get that one. I'm thinking maybe better food or like you know, good food. Or, yeah, or you can like, you can take a shower whenever you want. You can shower at your leisure, but that. Yeah, these are software developers. I don't think shower is going to be really high on the list, man. I um, shower. I mean, yeah, not, but you're... not having to be around people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. My own hardware. Like Maybe? my own keyboards and stuff like that. <sighs> like keyboard desk setup kind of thing. I think that was a downside early on in the panopticon though you know because people had like issues with their home office setups because they weren't used to having to work from home some people but all the all the mechanical keyboard nerds were like loving it oh you mean like me yeah yeah let me tell you about my mechanical keyboard exactly let me tell you about my (laughs) mechanical keyboard i have cherry mx blues because they're loud as shit it sounds like there's a team of horses in my living room so mechanical keyboard people are the Chicagoans of accessory lovers. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, hmm. They're yeah. square. The keys are square, right? I get it. Maybe for a lot of people, play. maybe it is the relative <laughs> quiet <laughs> is the upside. Like you're not in an open office plan, right? Like oh, being in an open yeah. office drove me absolutely apeshit. I hate it. That's why I don't work in offices. So how do so, how, how do we put the button like like quiet office office setup office environment? What yeah, maybe mean? like just just. Not in an open office, the quiet. Yeah. I like that, Rich. What do you say? Yeah. 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 All right. So what's what's that final answer, Rich? Um, uh, quiet. Not Show me room. it's quiet. Mm, no. Fuck. All right. Which means those there's the ones, by the way. Go, we'll go over to. Um, Wait, what's for? We're going to show you after he moved, after Paul sends the points on over. So give those 42 Ooh. points to the rogues. And what was the remaining answer? Flexibility in your schedule. I would have accepted can shower anytime you want. Oh, man. <laughs> no, so, but this is exciting. One. So this I'm sorry. Final, this final wrong. round will really matter. So we're going into our final round. We're going to have Cat facing off again versus David. Contestants, got your hands on your buzzers. Let's see our last question that will decide who is going to the final round to compete for the coveted CNCF Cup. What is the main way that you communicate with your friends? Cat buzzes in first. Cat, what's the number one answer? Cat is on mute. You're on mute. Oh, signal. Show me signal. Survey says, ah, it's the number four answer. David, you can steal if you can name the number one answer on the board for the main way to communicate Pete, that are these surveyed engineers communicate with their friends. And I'm going to assume text message or iMessage. Show me text message. Survey says number one answer on the board, which means uh, Tinkerbell will play. But don't worry, there's a lot of answers still out here. Opportunity to steal. We go to Jeremy. Jeremy, what's the main way you communicate with friends? Let's see our top answers. What's left? Uh, the phone. Show me the telephone. That's weird. Mm. No, yeah. not at all. All right. Mark, still two strikes to go, but five answers to reveal. What is the main way you communicate with friends? By the way, that was me trying to do the thing where they like they tap the cards on their hands. I got it. Yeah, this, it, yeah. It, it, got, it got me in the zone. The, se- the seven okay. answers here, which is more than some of the others, so I'm imagining some people were being uh, facetious. I'm going to say one of the answers in here is what friends? Show me. I don't even have friends to talk to. Mm. No. Okay. <laughs> Lots of pressure here, David. Nice try. Uh, and and as I see the math working out, if uh, we are in a position of a steal, would would uh, would turn everything around. All right, David. David, uh, David, do you have friends? Can you relate to this question? No, no, that's called no. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, Show me playing stupid online game shows hosted by Maddie. I mean, <laughs> no. he's going to say yodel. <laughs> <laughs> no, we use smoke signals in Scotland, but I'm going to go with Twitter. Show me Twitter. That's the number six answer. All right. So still alive, still alive. Four answers to go. Jeremy, what do you got for us? In person or uh, let's go with Discord. That's a tool. That Show me Discord. Software developers. Are yep. Discord is the number three answer, which means we surveyed cat mostly. All right. Sounds like it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mark. Got three more answers, but only one strike left to go for the main way to communicate with friends. All right. Slack's got to be in here somewhere. Slack. Show me Slack. Slack is there. That is so embarrassing, actually. Like, honestly, genuinely, (laughs) that is so embarrassing. Slack is a work tool, y'all. It is a work tool. Please, I'm begging you to interact with humans outside of work. I mean, That's Salesforce crazy. chat for work buddies. I've got, I've got to be true. honest. I, I, of all of the Slack channels I'm in, like, I'm, like maybe one, like one is work. <laughs> really? All yeah. of mine are work, and none of my Discords are work. I do not use Discord for work. It stresses me out. Do not ever DM me about work on Discord, y'all. Ever. <sighs> all right, David. It is David next, right? Yep, that was. Yeah, it's yes. me next. Yeah. And, okay. you know, I'm, I'm tempted to say email, but I'm going to forgo it. And I'm going to say in real life at a bar with beer. So Show me in real life, in person, possibly with beer. Survey says no. Oh, okay. Oh, that's two. All right, Kat. What do you mean? So, that okay. was two, David. <laughs> oh. I had the first uh, one. Oh, oh shit. I didn't oh, realize we, we had our quota so early. I didn't we just know. lost our TV 13. We have now moved into TVMA. All right. That being said, we just got a couple minutes. This is this is it right here. This is it? Okay. If, uh, uh, if the rogues galleries, if you can steal, you will be going on to the finals. If you are not able to steal, it will go to Team Tinkerbell. You've I'm got thinking, two I'm possibilities. I'm thinking like Zoom, Zoom I was video gonna, chat. I was going to guess WhatsApp. WhatsApp is outrageously popular as a messaging platform. It I have like, lots of friends who only use WhatsApp especially when they're talking to people who live in other countries, but. But yeah, I think Zoom, Zoom slash video chat of some kind, like a lot of people do that now, especially in the pandemic. We all do, we all do video chat, stuff like that. So I think, that's what I think. I think video chat. Rich, you have input? Yeah, Zoom. You're also on Zoom? Okay, well, I'm, yeah. out, I'm outvoted. So we'll go, we'll go video well, chat. Look at it this way. Even if we're wrong, then you can gloat. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So I win either way. Either I'm going to the finals mm-hmm. or I get to lord over Tim and Rich for an indeterminate period of time. So there's not a downside for me here. Um, yeah, video chat. Show me Zoom slash video chat. And the survey says... X is already... Or is that the X is already Zoom. Zoom. No. The survey says I get to gloat. Yeah. That means 43 points are awarded to Team Tinkerbell. And after we move those points on over, let's see what the two remaining answers on the board were. If you don't mind, yelling there dramatically at the so camera. yodeling, yodeling could have actually worked yeah, right there. But yeah. the number two answer, just to, to really drive it home, is oh wow, wow. that's even better. Mm-hmm. Not, not only <laughs> okay. not only was cat cat not only was not we're, not only were we, we wrong. But Kat was, the cat was right. Yeah, and we would have won. So I'm going to be insufferable about this for, <laughs> I, I figure like two weeks is fair, like at it's, minimum. Well, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to block you on Twitter right now. Here's, you think here's I don't the have thing, all this, Rich? See. But, yeah, we'll send Kat, you a Rich, I have like five Twitter accounts. What are you going to do? Kat, if it you was only, so, so if good you only do it for a couple of weeks, you won't be able to gloat at KubeCon. So I think you do need that's to That's true. Yeah, I should drag I should drag it out. I should drag it out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, so know, that's I a, think um, I think the only problem is that there's like 17 people actually watching this, so I don't know. <laughs> I have 25,000 Twitter followers. <laughs> you do. <laughs> no one's gonna know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, but, the, oh, but this, it will be recorded. Do we get a lot of replay value on this show? We yeah, do. Uh, it, that's a, yeah. What, 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 what do we have? 25,000 viewers, cat. What are you doing? Yep. Yep. Why didn't you just right, promise feed to, picks? To, I could just post feed picks. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Feed or PG thirteen. This brings. <laughs> This brings us to the end of our episode, uh, the end of the final. So Team Tinkerbell will be moving on to face the SRE Street Band. Uh, 
take uh, make sure that you are uh, subscribed uh, to CNCF uh, TV uh, to know when this is coming up and, you know, follow me on Twitter at Matt Stratton and then you'll also know. And uh, that's going to bring us out. And as always, uh, there's nothing more coveted than a shitty Photoshop of a trophy. Wait, is that it? Are we ending? That, that was your sign-off oh, one? That, sign was, off one? Was, that was your sign-off one, Matt. That's the best you uh, so come up with. So should I hit stop streaming now? Or yeah, what's going on? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. sorry. Uh, I burped into the microphone. Uh, no, it was great. Yeah. I'll go ahead yeah. and hit stop streaming.